Hello my dear kids very good evening this is Sundar Ravindranathan here how is everybody Awesome Great let me see who are all here So lovely to see all of you Welcome to this uh, session where we are going to bring in a brand new chapter Kingdoms King and an early republic yeah so yeah as usual we'll just wait for a minute and then we will take it forward i will just slowly move on okay right hi juhita hi aryani hi divya shri hi aditi So guys, lovely to see all of you. So you know what? Uh, it is kind of curious. Uh, it's always something which we would feel curious about to see how these rulers got formed. How did someone become a king? I'm sure at one point in time, everyone would have become. It would have been equal, right? So how did someone become a king? And how kingdoms got formed? These are all beautiful, uh, I would say, pieces of history that we can relish when we deal or study that in the right way. and this is one such chapter okay right on that note guys let me move on yeah needless to say i hope all of you know about the young wonders there are a few who are new so on that front this is a channel dedicated to 6th 7th and 8th grade students and we have non academic as well as academic offerings academically we take care of math science social and english grammar now Uh, every session will be a live session with quiz entire year syllabus is covered non academic or we also have cbse as well as icse icse we covers english uh, social uh, yeah and sorry uh, social science and math okay math science and social is what we cover for uh, icse three days of a week tuesdays thursdays and saturdays cool Right, guys. So non-academically, you have spell bee contests happening on every Sunday. You have Vedic math series. You have coding series. You also have uh, how does it work, which happens tomorrow. We will pick very very interesting device devices like blood pressure monitor, dialyzer, touch screen. How does it work? So we explain the functioning of so such things. So you will see it. Join us. Join me tomorrow at 1 p.m. Okay. Yes, guys. So overall, quite a fascinating channel. don't forget to subscribe okay we would love for you to subscribe to the channel guys okay on the right guys if you are looking if you are someone i'm sure you know there are a lot of students who have these kind of challenges and especially during this covid time you have a lot of doubts you don't know whom to ask you have uh, you know you want notes to revise you don't have periodical tests and assignments you want to take especially in the required pattern but there is no one to give you you want to take up coaching for ntsc or any any competitive exam olympiads etc you don't have a helping hand there so guys if these are your challenges consider that these challenges are solved because vedantu has come out with a beautiful subscription which along apart from solving all these things you also get unlimited live sessions topic wise chapter wise courses we call them as micro courses crash courses progress reports periodical progress reports and more than anything there is one teacher dedicatedly you know looking at how you are doing personalized attention lovely isn't it so guys if you are looking for something like that look at the link in the description and to get a discount because you are watching this session note down the uh, you know coupon code srpro all you have to do is go to that link in the description choose your grade click on get subscription and choose how many months subscription you want and that srpro coupon code you can put under coupon code to get the discount and guys you will be connected with us the best master teachers of vedantu and all what we teach will be in sync with your curriculum cool that's about it guys let us start the chapter yeah what are we going to deal with we have how some people became kings or rulers 
that's a quite an interesting start and we are going to go back uh, what two three three thousand years ago right and we also deal with four very important uh, you know uh, aspects of the rulers you call them as varnas janapadas mahajanapadas three in fact clear so we will be dealing with all these today ready all of you come on guys give me a yo if you guys are ready Hi Shilu, many more happy returns of the day. May God bless you. Modita, I can understand, only understand. Kannad Gotila. Okay. Hi Nehansa. Beautiful. Let's move on, guys. You will be fascinated to understand this. You know what, as I said, 3000 years ago, some people, you know what, they performed big yagnas, big sacrifices. All right. So one among such yagna is called Ashwamedha Yagna. You also call it as Ashwamedha Yaga or horse sacrifice. So here, you know what they do? A horse was let loose. They leave it loose. And uh, however, it will not be tied or anything. It will be let loose. There will be guards standing next to it. But the horse will be free. When a, If the horse wandered into the kingdoms of other rulers. And if they try to stop the horse. Then that means other ruler is not ready to accept the rule of this rule. You know the king who has sent the horse. I repeat. I have a horse. All right. I let, let the horse loose. There are men who are guarding the horse in case the horse starts wandering, getting into other kingdoms and the other kingdom is stopping the horse. Then there will be a battle between the kingdom where from which the horse was sent and the king who stopped the horse. Interesting. Look at it, guys. Very, very, you know, kind of kiddish, right? But still, that's how it was. It has its own uh, flavor of spirituality in it. Now, at the same time, if that king, where the when the horse enters the other kingdom and the king allows it, that means the king has accepted the rule of the king who has sent the horse. He is ready to work under him. Ready? So, I hope you are clear, right? It meant that they accepted the raja who wanted to perform the sacrifice. Who has sent that horse, right? To perform the sacrifice. The, the king of that, the other kingdom is ready to accept him. He accepted that you are stronger than me. I am not going to touch your horse. Clear? Anand Gupta, the guarded men will go along with it. Okay. <laughs> Good question. Sir, how did we know which kingdom the horse went? They don't really leave it. The horse will be set free. But there will be people following it. Cool? Okay. So, then the Raja who organized the sacrifice, he is considered to be very, very powerful. Supremely powerful. And a lot of people come to that sacrifice with gifts. Ashwamedha Yagna. Okay? The Raja was the central figure. Alright? Obviously, yes guys. In this rituals. He had a separate seat, a throne, a tiger skin, etc. Interesting. All right. So his charioteer who drives the you know, horse for him, they keep chanting Raja's tales of glory, what all achievements he has done. His wives and sons, they perform minor rituals. They also sit, but they perform minor rituals. The other Rajas were like, whoever has accepted him, they were merely spectators who watched the sacrifice. Priests are also there to perform the rituals, like sprinkling of, sprinkling of sacred water on the king. 
and ordinary people they you call them as vaishyas they also bring gifts for the king so if you look at that you have you have kings here you had these rajas who accepted the king's rule and you also have family of the king you also have priests who perform the ritual all right you also have ordinary people who watch the ritual correct so now all these people fall under different categories which we will see now yeah and somanna no 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 that and all it it happened centuries ago not now this ashwamedha yaga and all guys is not happening now okay hi satvik did the horse had a name depends yes some places yes now coming to depending on those different people who were there they are you know uh, divided into different categories of people you call them as varnas people used to ask which varna you belong to what are the varnas you had brahmanas brahmanas are people who study vedas perform all the rituals and get gifts that's the first varna brahmana second varna is kshatriyas kshatriya is always aggressive and battle warriors and they fight to protect people so brahmanas kshatriyas three vaishyas see vaishyas are very hard workers traders farmers etc right fourth one is shudras see shudras are more like people who work for others uh sometimes even like slaves guys they do kind of works which are a little you know which normal you know uh which are not considered as a high level shudras so brahmanas kshatriyas vaishyas shudras this is the order brahmanas are considered very high because they are, they were considered very close to god they study vedas they perform rituals etc kshatriyas are warriors that's why they are respected a lot three vaishyas they were farmers hard workers and traders and shudras are kind of people who work for all these people shudras okay at that time it was considered a little lower in class shudras cool okay tripto i am on it tripto i will ensure it you are receiving it don't worry okay yeah i know by now it should have received you should receive it in a few days don't worry two three days okay Hi Lavanya, many more happy returns of the day. So now coming to how these people who performed sacrifices, they all right, they started ruling. So the rajas who performed these sacrifices, big sacrifices like Ashwamedha yagnas and all, they were considered as rajas of Janapadas. Janapadas are nothing but uh, you know typically uh, land of a crowd of a group. the word janapada literally means the land where jana jana means crowd or group people they have said people have settled down there and these people are all right and this is called a janapada that area is called a janapada and these rajas are rajas of janapadas again i repeat janapadas are areas where people have settled down and living and these rajas are rajas of the janapadas clear guys tell this are you clear give me a yo <clears throat> jana means people even multiple language jana means people <laughs> uh see varna wise if you look at it multiple are there but broadly even four varnas only within inside varnas itself there were become lot of subsets now Okay. Hi Tejas. Super. Everyone is clear. Why Shali? Hi Why Shali. Many more happy returns of the day. May God bless you.
right archaeologists have excavated a lot of settlements because these were like what 3000 years is not an ordinary time right it's huge huge so many years right it's been but archaeologists have excavated all right a few things uh, where purana kila in delhi hastinapur near meerut atranji khera near ita so places where they have excavated janapadas all right different things how did they find out see guys they found out that people were living in huts excavation clearly revealed this all right they had they were rearing cattle they kept cattle and other animals as well and they also grew a variety of crops what what are they rice wheat barley pulses sugarcane sesame and mustard different types of crops also they grew guys when 3000 years ago how is it right Dripto, let me give it as a surprise, yaar. They made earthen pots. Guys, look at the picture. Thousands of years ago, this is what happened. Alright, it's called painted greyware. Special type of pottery. It had painted, device, you know, design. Designs were very simple with geometric patterns. Thousands of years ago, earthen pots, guys, all of them. Surprising, isn't it? Now, Janapadas, I repeat, Janapadas, areas where people were settled and living, right? They became, a few Janapadas became very important. They gained a lot of significance. It's like a normal city becoming a metro city. That's the perfect example I can give you. The moment it becomes a metro, it uh, has its own importance, right? Like that, Janapadas became very, very important. About what? After 500 years. That is 2,500 years ago. Okay, and such Janapadas which gained a lot of significance, they were called as Maha Janapadas. Okay? Maha Janapadas. And these Maha Janapadas had a capital city. All right, and they were guarded very strongly, fortified with forts. Okay, so how were the forts? Huge walls of wood, brick and stone were built around them. That is what we call as fortification, fortified. So guys, I repeat, Janapadas, slowly with different, see, due to trade, due to different kind of people. All right, they gained a lot of significance and they became Maha Janapadas 2500 years ago. And all these Maha Janapadas, most, mostly they had a capital city and they were heavily, heavily fortified, built with, uh, you know, stones, brick, wood, etc. Cool? Look at that. A fortified settlement, right? Forts were probably built because people were afraid that they will be kind of, uh, uh, you know, conquered by other kings. And they needed protection. At the same time, there were a few Rajas who wanted to show their might. How strong they are. So they wanted to create amazing structures like forts. Okay, so two reasons. One, for protection. Two, to show off their might. Right? So then this way, when you create a boundary, fort is nothing but a boundary, right? When you create a boundary like that, Raja also had the option of controlling anyone inside the boundary, right? Very clearly. See, if you look at old movies and all, there will be, you know, every city or every area will have a fort kind of a thing, one big, huge door. Only when they open, you can go out and come in, right? The Raja would be able to control the entire area, you know, clearly. So that is also an advantage that they have when they build forts. People living inside the fort, that entire area, they will be, it will be, you know, easy for the king to control. Clear? Right. So now, guys, the new Rajas began maintaining armies. See so how this happened, see? See, it started with sacrifices, the Yagnas and all. Slowly, people started respecting them. Different Varnas started coming in. People, ordinary person, the Shudras, 
uh, someone who you know ruler other ruler who accepted kshatriyas the rajas who were performing these uh, you know the rituals and uh, the priests the brahmanas right vaishyas the traders so all these things you know that's how it start, slowly started spreading now it came to an extent where the janapadas became mahajanapadas and mahajanapadas the kings who were having the mahajanapadas they started creating forts building armies and maintaining them soldiers were regularly paid salaries and uh, they were maintained by the king throughout the year it is a prestige if you are live uh, you know if you are a soldier that time it's like a government job okay mapreet kaur dripto won the quest for spell b 25th edition for that one clear so some payments look at that were used uh, you know using punched coins you see the coins in the picture small coins punched they were also kind of currency at that time existing at that time so many years ago my dear kids are you clear till this how it all started right and then how these rajas became you know started handling the janapadas ruling janapadas and when janapadas raised you know started getting significance how they became mahajanapadas and from mahajanapadas how they started expanding how they started building forts how they started controlling people and how they started you know maintaining armies tell this are you clear if you are clear give me a yo come on thank you ganesh kumar lovely guys so now are you guys ready for a menti so we are almost like wow to the end of the session ready for a menti all of you now what i want you guys to do is i want you to open a new browser window keep youtube alive you open a new window and type www menti.com go to the website menti m e n t i menti.com i repeat guys go to the website menti.com m e n t i So once you go to the website, it will ask you for a quiz code. Go to the website menti.com. It will ask you for a quiz code. Type the code 5442957. I repeat kids. 5442957. I repeat again. 94454. So, I am sorry. 5442957. Gurender we do not have as of now a channel for fifth class we are thinking about expanding this further Ready all of you? Guys, 30 seconds first question will be on your screens. Be ready. Hi Sangam Roman Reigns. Many more happy returns of the day beta. May God bless you. Arthip, you are caterpillar. Where is it? It's kind of ah yeah I got it purple color yeah 
Hmm. Okay, I think it's time. Mepreet, not a very active guy in Instagram. Surprising, right? To be frank, I am not very active in any social media. Okay. I hardly watch guys. Uh, very poor. When I say very poor, I don't have time. That's the point. Hi, Daman Preet. Welcome to Vedantu Young Wonders. So guys, I think it's time. We should jump in. Question number one for all of you. Here we go. How did men become rulers around 3000 years ago? That's how we started right today. By voting, by Ashwamedha, by economic status, both one and two. Renu, you have to open a browser. Don't open, try to open in YouTube. You cannot. Hi, Aryan Rushi. Many more happy returns of the day. May God bless you. Hmm, good. By Ashwamedha. So. Casper, Dia, Pagar, Vachana, Smita, top five. Sh Jassi, Shubham, Geetika, Ayushman, Shushravya. I told you guys, right, uh, last time. I have a bright light just next to me. Just to ensure you have enough lighting. You are able to see me comfortably. So that is the reason, you know, it hits my eyes very badly. That's why I wear specs, don't, uh, though I don't wear. So, yeah, that's why I wink my eyes often. Otherwise, I, eyes will become very dry. Code 5442957, the code. Who guarded the horse? The horse was guarded by Janas, Rajas, men, ordinary people, all of these. One hundred and thirty-seven of you got it right, guys. Raja is the one who conducts the, uh, you know, sacrifice. So he lets the horse loose, but his men will guard the horse. One hundred and thirty-seven. Dia, mm. Dia, Jesse, Casper, Geetika, Aditya, top five. Ishan, Arjun, Aditya. Smitha and Yami. Question number three. Hi, Daman Preet. Welcome to Vedantu Young Wonders. Who bought gifts for rulers? Who brought it? Vaishyas, Sudras, Brahmins, none of these. Careful, careful, careful. Hi, Debamalya. Hey, Shashidhar. Yeah, I remember you. Vaishyas, guys. It was clearly mentioned Vaishyas when I was teaching today. How did you guys miss it? Dia. Dia, Jassi, Geetika, Aditya, Rutu. Top 5. Nabamita ma'am asking Shadow Aditya Smita. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Question number 4. Where is Hastinapur located? Hastinapur. I told you. Kolkata, Meerat, uh, Mumbai, Meerat, Agra. Simple, right? Hmm. 
So... Okay, 169 of you guys is right. So, three more questions to go. Let's look at the leaderboard after four questions. It says Dia is well at the top. Followed by Aditya, Geetika, Ruthu, Rudraks, top five. Tiger Baby, Smitha, Aditya asking Mepreet. Mepreet, I don't have Insta ID. I'm sorry. Two more questions to go after this. Question number five now. What mode were the payments done? Punched marked coins, paper notes, gold coins, silver coins. Come on, yeah. There is no way you guys can make a mistake here, right? Punched mark coins. How many of you chose that? Good. Most of you got it right. 172. That makes Dia still at the top. Followed by Ruthu, Rudraksh, Aditya, Tiger Baby. Aditya, Smitha, Mepreet, Atharva. Hi, Fai, Atharva. Danman. So, Question number six, just one more to go. Where is Purana Kila situated? Agra, Kolkata, Delhi, Lucknow. Simple one. Archaeologists excavated Purana Kila in which place? If you have listened well, you would be able to nail this with ease. Delhi. How many of you chose Delhi? Okay, not bad. Superb. Now guys, Dia at the top. Hmm. Big lead. 50 points. Ruthu, Shrudraksh, Tiger Baby, Aditya, top five. Aditya, Smitha, Mepreet, Atrava, Prashant. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Guys, the final question for this session and the question is Hi, Simarjeet, I am fine. What turned into Mahajanapadas about 2500 years ago? Jana, Janapadas, jungles, or cities? Something turned into Mahajanapadas. Which one? Hmm. One hundred and ninety two. Awesome. Everyone, almost everyone, right? So who's going to win? Dia is going to win. Looks like it. Hey, no. I think Ruthu is going to win. Aditya is winning. Wow, look at the shift. Aditya, Aryan, many congratulations. Beta. Keep it up. Great job. Ruthu, Tiger Baby, Aditya, Smitha, Ria, Atrava, Mapri, Danvin and Arav. All of you guys, my congratulations for making it to the leaderboard and sticking on till the end. Guys, there might be so many of you who have tried, got right answers, but you could not get into the leaderboard. It is okay. All right. Keep fighting. You got to be very fast. Then you'll get it. Every session has a, you know, a live quiz. You, you have humpty chances. Keep trying, guys. You will get it. All right. So, guys, if the session, I hope it was useful, informative, you were able to understand, hit the like button if you just so. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe the channel with Antu Young Wonders. Thank you guys. Guys, at 8 o'clock, I'm going to speak about, take a quick small session on common errors that you use in prepositions. Alright? So, join me at 8 p.m.
today at 8 pm common errors while using prepositions okay i will see you at 8 pm guys until then this is myself sundar rabindranathan signing off take care see you at 8 bye bye